October favourites for you and I know this is a bit late and I am sorry about that but I had obviously lots of other little videos going up so this is kind of the best time that I've managed to get it up but I hope you don't mind and I've got a bit of fluff on my mouth. Now the first item is probably something that I spoke about quite a bit last year but I've really got back into it again which is really annoying because it's very expensive and it is the Orbe, I think it's Orbe, Maximista Thickening Spray and I bought this last year as a bit of a treat to myself because I think it is £25 which is a bit ridiculous but basically you put this on wet hair, I tend to kind of lift it up and just sort of do it under there and do it under there and it gives you a really nice bit of volume after you've dried your hair. Now you do have to be careful with this because if you put too much on I do find you end up having very sticky hair and it's not particularly nice. So you definitely do have to get a nice medium for this. <coughs> what is going on? But because I think I've got my slightly shorter hair a bit again, which I am hoping to go a bit shorter again, this is really good for like shorter hair because obviously you need a bit more volume in it. But yeah, I really, really like this and I haven't found something that I've noticed has made a difference as much as this, if that makes sense. But I obviously wouldn't want to keep spending £25. So if you can kind of think of a better alternative for me, that would be really, really good. So let me know. I think you can only buy that on Space NK, but you might be able to buy it on somewhere else as well. I'll go for the next one because it might be obvious on my face. I'm actually wearing a new lipstick, which is the Kate uh, Rimmel Kate one in number 30. And I think with the lighting, it's coming up a bit more red than it is. It's actually quite purpley. And I have been loving this this month. I obviously love the 107 like everybody else does. But I just find with that it's a little bit too red for my skin tone. And I prefer this one at the moment because it's a little bit more plummy kind of colour. And it's just nice to have a little bit of a change. And because they're only like £5 something, it's nice that they're so cheap. I do find this one isn't as matte as the other one because it's not part of the matte collection. It does probably bleed a little bit more than the other one does. But as I say, I definitely prefer the colour. I think it's a bit more unusual and it's nice to not always be wearing the 107 one. So yeah, that is definitely something you could look out for if you like the other one. But as I say, you can probably tell it's actually more that colour. But for some reason my lips is coming off a bit redder. I don't know, I don't know. Next is actually a nail polish that I really enjoyed wearing last month, which was the Tanya Burr, and I think this says Penguin Chic, but my friend Megan thought it was Penguin Chick, but someone then also said that apparently it was meant to be Penguin Chick and they printed it wrong, so who knows. But anyway, it's a really nice sort of grey browny kind of colour, it's kind of like a taupey kind of colour but I really like it because it's unusual, it's a bit different and I think it's great for this kind of like autumnal transition into like winter and stuff and it's really really subtle and pretty. You do have to do a couple of coats on this because it isn't particularly opaque but once you've got those two coats on it is pretty good so I really like that and I think I got it in the Feel Unique sale so it's like £3 or something like £2 so really really good price. Bargain! The next thing I'm going to talk about is something that I've been wearing a lot recently and I always go back to this in kind of autumnal months because I love it and I actually mentioned this in our autumn beauty picks that I did with Megan so I'll link that in the box below as well as our style picks, a little plug there but it's actually the Estee Lauder Duo Eyeshadow Palette in Raisins and I love this so much this colour is like a champagne pink colour and it's a little bit shimmery and then this colour here isn't as shimmery but it's kind of like a browny, plummy, dark colour and this is perfect for creating like a really nice eye look I am wearing it now as I say and it's just great because you literally only need those, both, those two colours to make a nice colour if that makes sense these again are quite expensive and I got this for a Christmas present because I thought it was a bit more like a luxury product to receive at Christmas so maybe you guys if you fancy it could put it on your Christmas list but I love that so much and it's definitely got a lot of wear and I think it's so pigmented and I now really want to go and get another Duo palette by them because I think their eyeshadows are really really good. Now the last thing I was going to mention is something a bit random but it's not random actually, I don't know why I'm saying that, <laughs> but basically I have been loving baths again. I go through phases where I have them all the time and they're not, but recently I've been having them all the time, probably much to my parents' dislike, but basically I went into Lush and I bought a few bath bombs recently, and this one I have really been liking, it's the, uh, what's it called? the comforter bubble bar slice and it is so nicely smelling I'm just gonna kind of make sure it doesn't go all over my bed here but I was just gonna show you and I love the colour of this it looks like this ah, how pretty is that 
it smells amazing I think it's a black currant flavor or blueberry or something like that but it's so nice so sweet and you can break off bits as you can see as I've done so you, this will last for quite a while now I do have a bit of an issue I bought these probably a couple of weeks ago two to three weeks ago so not very long ago and they're already going soft they're kind of like disintegrating a bit and that's not really what I want so I don't know if they're meant to be stored in a cooler place or a warmer place or in a shady place I don't know so let me know if you know that but anyway I've been loving that I also really really loved the Christmas pudding one um, which is the really one with loads of different colours on it and things like that I did actually do a blog post on my Lush haul so I'll link that there so you know what I'm talking about but I love that one so much, I actually enjoyed that last night, so I might go back and buy another one of those just because it smelt amazing. I think I need to now just buy them in smaller chunks rather than buying loads at one time just because they seem to be going a bit to pieces, which is a shame. I'm actually going to mention one style favourite because I might not end up getting to show you guys them and I love them a lot. And these are great for like autumn sort of style and these are actually from Primark and these were £8 and I bought them this week and I am in love with them I love how chunky the heel is I mean the sole and yeah they're just like these leopard print slip-ons and I already have some leopard print slip-ons but these ones are a lot nicer I love them so much and they're a really good dupe for I know they have Kurt Geiger ones and I know June do some nice ones but I think these look really nice and you wouldn't necessarily think they're from Primark you might think they're from somewhere more expensive but I've been loving those I think they're super comfy and you can wear them with jeans and a jumper and things like that so love them right I'm actually going to finish off this video now I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you liked all my October favorites and if you've got any video suggestions I'd really appreciate it anything you'd like to see on the channel or anything like that or any videos in particular that you really like me doing so yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys!